This is a quick and dirty video on testing core patches for Drupal. It assumes that you have a fresh installation of head Drupal on a local test environment. And um, <clears throat> pretty much we're just going to be looking at how do you uh, get the patch, how do you apply it, um, reversing it, and um, putting it through its paces so that you can help out the core patchers. Um, the main thing you need to know once you have that head installation is always do CVS update DP so that you have a fresh version of head to work from. So here I am in my uh, my little test installation, fresh copy of head. And um, <clears> the <throat> first thing I need to do is, uh, is go find me some patches. So I'm going to go to drupal.org and I'm going to go look at the um, at the patch queue um, using my contributor links block which you can turn on under my account and um, when you get in here you see we have a list of all the different kinds of patches that we have uh, you'll notice the project is Drupal so that's core and uh, status is all of the various patches you'll see the pink uh, needs work which we're not going to do uh, the yellow are the ones that need review so those are the ones that we're looking for and green are ready to be committed, which means somebody's already tested them. So that's, you know, we don't need to review those. So that's patch Q. Patches to review has all of the yellows in it. So uh, we're going to be looking at uh, Merlin of Chaos's Create a Registry for Theme Functions. And uh, we'll get into the issue. And uh, you'll notice the version is 6xdev, which is uh, the current head. Uh, and there's a patch attached. Uh, and a pretty detailed description of what he is doing uh, with this patch. So you should read all that stuff. You should read all, all the updates and follow-ups that are under there so you can get a sense of what's actually going on. And you also notice that there are uh, more patches down here as, as he's gone through to correct things. And uh, I'm actually going to take uh, this patch, this third one here. I'm going to just go ahead and, and save this. And I want to save it into my Drupal root directory um, for the test site that I have set up, um, which is the Drupal root directory is where your index.php file is. And uh, all your patches should, uh, should get put into there. So that's good. And now I'm going to go to the command line. And uh, I'm going to get back to my Drupal root and uh, show you the file. So this is my uh, the root of my Drupal head installation and you can see that my patch is in there which is good because that's where it should be. And um, so now really what I need to do is I need to go figure out how to actually apply this patch and get the patch into the regular code. So I'm gonna go to the handbooks on drupal.org and uh, we're gonna go down and it is not under CVS it's actually under contributing to development um, under patches because this is not actually you don't need CVS to patch we're just patching against a CVS version so um, we'll go to patches the patch command doesn't require CVS is what I'm what I mean um, <clears throat> and you see under patches how to apply patches is the very first thing listed and the uh, first thing you probably see is this big warning here which you should read and take to heart. I'll read it aloud. Um, warning, patching is something that should never be done on your production site unless you have sufficient backup and testing performed. While patching itself is relatively easy, understanding the implications of a patch is not. Patching your system can lead to loss of data and or site instabilities. Basically it means patching breaks stuff pretty easily. <laughs> so do it in a test environment, which is why I have a, a localhost test set up. Now, with all that said, this is the actual command. Um, that's all we need to actually apply the patch. It's a pretty straightforward command. So, what I need to do is go back to my command line, type it in. So, it's patch dash p0 less than and then the patch name. And, right, okay. So the one thing I want to point out is this uh, this dash p0 bit is saying um, it's telling patch do the apply this patch from Drupal root. If you look at these directions, it says provided the patch was made relative to Drupal root. So it's saying go go from here. This is the path you need to follow. 
Um, and all patches that are made for core should be done relative to Drupal root. You should always be able to stick it in the root directory and do dash PO and it should be able to, to know where it is and find the location of all the files it needs to do. Um, let me actually go in here and look at the patch queue. So I'm just going to go back and look at this patch. If you click the link that's the patch, it actually opens the patch on the screen so that you can read it, which is probably just a good idea generally. So when I open this up, you'll see at the top of each of the files that's being changed, the, the little code bits for each file, there's this index. And that index tells me the path that patch is going to take to get to that file to, to change it. And since index is in Drupal root and it's not showing any kind of a path to get there, then it, this is showing that it's relative to Drupal root. So I'm fine with, with applying the patch from here with uh, you know the P0. Um, it is a good idea to just sort of scroll down and read through the code. Um, you can learn a lot from, you know, more experienced coders by looking at the code that they do and, and, and seeing it. So, okay, let's run it. Let's just hit enter on this command. And that patched. You can see we got a bunch of feedback here. And basically it's saying, yeah, I patched all this stuff. Um, what you don't want to see is hunk failed. Uh, that's not good and uh, that means it's not applying cleanly anymore and you'll need to report that back to the issue queue and uh, and whoever's doing the patching is going to have to roll a new version um, but this is also important why why it's important also to do update uh, CVS update DP um, you can see this one had one earlier in the issue queue here um, so okay this is clean let's actually go test it so here's my test installation and I'm going to reload it with the new code because I just patched it and immediately we can see that there's a problem because um, all my content just changed into arrays so yeah but I'm going to play around a little more and just check it out basically you want to click through you know be uh, you know just do site admin stuff you know set stuff up create things click on links go look at stuff you know all that good stuff whatever I mean this is that's what testing's about make sure the site behaves normally with the patch applied this is not normal white screen not good now actually with this I talked to Merlin about this it happened to me earlier and I talked to him and uh, he told me how to correct this this is actually a menu rebuild problem uh, issue not problem but um, with Drupal head um, not specific to this patch so he actually told me exactly what to do to correct this so that I could just sort of continue testing um, which was that I actually needed to add a little function to the index.php file and I mean he told me exactly what I needed to do you just tell him hey this is happening and you know someone will explain what you need to do so I'm just gonna open up index.php and um, and edit it and add in this little function he told me where to put it I don't know this stuff trust me um, but now I do. <laughs> so I save that, reload it, and uh, and now I will go and go back to where I was and see. Here it is. Hey, so that works. So we got that little issue taken care of, sort of as a side thing. Um, but I still have my array thing. So yeah, that's that's not working. So now I know that um, after this issue there was another patch. So here's patch the fourth patch. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know you can open that up and look at that, check it out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna download this one because this is a newer patch and I should probably have the the latest and greatest patch. Then you also notice that it's numbered; it increments up. So I can save this to that same directory and it won't overwrite the other patch or any of that other stuff. So I'm just going to save it directly to my Drupal root again, same as I did before. There's three. I'll save four. So, okay, I got that saved. Let me clear that. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the command line. Now, what I want to do before I apply this new patch, what I need to do is I need to reverse the old patch. I want to try and take the old patch off and see does that array issue happen when I remove the patch. So what I need to do here is the same patch command, 
but I'm just going to add a dash capital R after the P0. And that's going to remove the patch from the code. I can check the page and see, hey, does this still happen? Does it not? That way you can really identify, yes, this patch definitely caused this. So I did the dash R. I know, I'm sorry, that was fast. Um, but when I re see now I reload this and now my content's back. So that patch definitely caused this issue because when I removed it, boom, everything works again. So um, you, you should, you know, just check that. It's a really easy switch to do. You just put the dash R, take it off, you know, patch it again, put it on. Now I want to do um, the, the patch 4 and I should also remove the old patch before you add the new patch, right? So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead. So this is the command I did last time. I'm just going to change the 3 to a 4 so that I have the new patch. Hit that. Notice the PO. Um, and we're going to apply this patch now. And again, double check it. Make sure everything patched cleanly that you didn't get any failures or strange messages. And now I have the new patch and it's fixed. It didn't switch to array like it did last time. So, and really pretty much from here, I'm testing. I'm just going to test stuff. I'm going to change stuff around. I create new content. I change a theme here. Basically, um, and if, if the, in the issue queue, whoever created the patch has specific directions. Obviously, you want to go through those specific directions that they have. But, uh, you know, test it. Report back. Go to the issue. Say, this worked or these are the errors I got. And that's really it for testing for testing core patches and it's a huge help to the entire Drupal community because it makes Drupal core better.